All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put your curtain walls in and your doors. So, to start off on the outside, first thing we're going to do is go to the wall. And when you do your curtain walls, you got to make sure you use this storefront wall type. And you're going to draw it right next to it. And you're going to draw it the same angle. And then all we're going to do is take it, use the align tool, and we're aligning it to this wall. And let's see how we did. Bam! Looks pretty decent. So you remember what you do is I didn't set any of my properties, but you could change them in here to go up to different levels. I could do an unconnected height and just manually change how tall I want to go. And I'm going to do 16 because if I do 16 and it makes it nice and pretty because if I go into my type, here is the spacing of these grids. Right now they're five feet by eight feet so by making it 16 it's nice and pretty here let's make them um, six feet wide and you can see what happens it just makes them a little wider all right now what we could do is if i want to have a door right here to go outside first thing i have to do and this is tricky because they changed it this year is i go down over here in the left in my project browser there's this families tool right here this is all the stuff you have loaded in your project so if I open up my families and I go to doors, there's just going to be the default single flush doors in there. Now, conventional wisdom, the loaded door would be go to the doors. No. You go when you have doors selected to the insert, load family. And then we have these curtain wall doors, these specific ones. I'm going to hold down control, select three. And they go in, nothing's going to happen. But wait, if I wanted a door right here on the tip, what I'm going to do is come towards the door. I'm going to hit escape. I get towards one of these connecty things, the mullions. I hit tab. Cycles the things that connects to it. Now, I want this left one. It keeps on going to the right. Oh, there it goes. I got it. I click it. And then here's my door. As I just click on my door. And now it's a door. And then it's not done yet. I come down here to the bottom. I select this. Notice it's a pinned object. I select it. And I delete it. Because now the door could open. If we go to my plan view, my level one, there it is. I could change the swing angle of my door. It's in there now. And if I go back to here, there's all sorts of fun things you could do with these curtain walls. If I go to my curtain grid right here, I click on it. I could add a line of segments going across. I could add single segments. And it's going to get mad because it's messing up with my door so let's go next to my door to show you so all you like artist people in here yeah you can do whatever you want this is america all right you can even do this here watch we click on the wall let's hit edit profile let's take and make a line going across from here to here let's delete this line Delete this line. There we go. Yeah, not my cup of tea either. I don't know how this would work out, but whatever. All right, other things we could do here. Um, let's go to this wall. Remember, we do wall, curtain wall, storefront. You draw one out. This time, let's be mindful of what I have set here. So let's do unconnected in a... My lucky number, 24. That's, a, that's another day, kids. I'll tell you that story. So we hit this. We clicked our wall. We used the align tool. We're going to align it in. Uh, let's look at it. All right. 24 was a poor choice. Why did you guys let me do that? So let's change it uh, maybe up to level 2. There we go. All is well. Now, if we hit this little thing right here, this little configure grid layout. Look what happens to my properties toolbar. I can, You can mess around and play with these. We have vertical grid. I can change the angle of that to 15. Here, I'll change this one to 45. So we can see the contrast. Apply. Whoa! I click on the curtain wall. Click on the grid uh, configuration. And then now you go over here in the properties and you can do what. And now... Maybe you're thinking in your head, you're like, Mr. Tosh, 
Um, I want you to go back to the curtain grid layout, and I want you to start adding some single segments in there. Because now you get, like, really funky. Now if we're, like, building this for a city like Evanston, I could start racking up, you know, that, that bill. It was, oh, the Robert Crown's going to be $39 million. Now it's $49.5 million. Just add some curtain wall grids. Make a story about this. Be like, this is a loom. And this is a, the pattern of Harriet Beecher Stowe. Uh, and then you could sell it to them for a lot. Now, perhaps those of you guys that have your little wavy buildings, you're like, Mr. Tosh, I don't know how I drew this. I just did it one day. So what you could do for this one, because it's hard to replicate that with the tool. So if you click on it, hold down Control, hit Copy, and let's just make a copy right there. Now we change it to our storefront. Then we do a line. Come on, do it. But you would you would need to have some wall above it though. All right, so you got to make sure you mess with the height and set that stuff before. I don't know what you guys were thinking on that. Why well, you didn't tell me to do that? All right. And then remember, if you click on this too, you could do you could mess with the line segments up here, or if you're like a symmetrical person, you could really uh, just change your your layout here. But keep in mind, if I do this here, it's gonna change all of them. So don't forget to be duplicating and call it like North Storefront or whatever direction this is of the building. I'll just call it North Storefront. And then here, just for just to so you can see what the heck I'm doing, uh, let's do four feet one way and twelve feet the other. All right, so you can do all sorts of layouts, whatever you want. And this isn't just the outside of the building. Think about the inside. You guys have meeting rooms, all right? You guys saw the NC State Library video we watched. All right, the NC State video had all those meeting rooms with uh, the storefront or current wall, same thing. When we do it, though, let's let's be good people this time. Let's set our curtain wall first, and I'm just going to draw it. It's always just using that align. Always what you're aligning it to goes first, too. And let's go here and check out a camera view. All right, and you could do the same thing. You could... Put in the doors, and let's do that again. Remember, door is, I hover on it, tab goes to my selections. I get the glass panel. I then change it to, let's make just one big door. This is Evanston. We'll charge him an arm and a leg for it. And if I go to my plan view, I can see how this door is going to open. It's commercial, so it opens out of a room. It's opposite. All right, now if we go 3D, and you're like, Mr. Tosh, I want to see inside my building. Don't forget about our old friend, Section Box. I come in the properties on 3D View, Section Box. I click on the box. I pull it down. And now I can see inside. Oh, I didn't? You guys made a ranch house. How hard is it to do it for a ranch house? Get out of here. Uh, and if you want to turn it off, you know, all you do is come down here, uncheck it. All right. Maybe I didn't tell you before. I don't remember. I can't remember what I did yesterday. That's not on me. So, uh, make your buildings look not like a prison and curtain walls are going to do that. I mean, you could, you can make like all sorts of shapes on here. This looks like Willy Wonka's fun house. 